Hey folks, welcome back to the Good Life Outdoors. Today I've got an exciting project to share with you. I recently picked up a used Diablo Amigo kayak, specifically for shallow water inshore fishing. The Diablo is a fantastic choice for targeting redfish, speckled trout, and other inshore species, and will allow me to explore more areas with shallower waters than I can access with my Hobie Pro Angler kayak. This kayak is incredibly stable and is perfect for standing while fishing and can be paddled much like a stand-up paddleboard. Plus, I can throw it in the back of my truck without the need for a bed extender, which makes it easier for grab-and-go last-minute fishing plans. Mine came with the Larry chair, which is a comfortable folding seat, and also with a storage crate with rod holders. But as you'll see, there are a few upgrades I need to make to make this more user-friendly. First things first, I need to address the issue of tracking in windy conditions and on logger paddles. This kayak tends to wander when under power, and it spins unpredictably when drifting with the wind. So a solution for better tracking is high on my priority list. I also need better access to my fishing gear, so I plan to put some gear tracks up front. While it's stable for standing, the hard plastic floor could use some padding to make it more comfortable. I also want to be able to reduce noise in the cockpit while I'm fishing. So this is what I started with, and it's a darn good start. But let's take it back over to the house and make it even better. I ordered a pair of gear tracks for the front as well as a skeg kit from Diablo Kayaks. Now both of these are fairly easy to install and I'll show you how I did those right now. We'll start off with installing the Yak Attack gear tracks. The Amigo has indentions that fit these 8 inch gear tracks perfectly. While the gear track comes with its own self tapping screws, I purchased some stainless hardware to really beef up this installation. To install these, it's really as easy as marking holes, drilling, and then attaching the hardware. I went ahead and took the extra step of adding some silicone adhesive to the bolt holes just to make sure we don't have any leaks. Now that I have these gear tracks, I can attach rod holders, electronics, or even camera mounts to the front of this kayak, and I know that they're nice and secure. And here's the Skeg kit from Diablo Kayaks. This one's specific to the Amigo, and it's really easy to install. The Skeg mounting plate uses the same bolt holes as the rear handle and Diablo provides longer bolts to make this connection. The system uses a small bungee cord to put tension on the Skeg for easy deployment. Then I just had to run the control line up to the cockpit and install the cord lock clamp to keep it there by my side when I'm ready to deploy the skeg. And now with the line tied off and trimmed, the skeg kit is complete. I picked up some EVA foam flooring in a wood look with a matching fish ruler. 
This is adhesive back and should be pretty easy to install to make it more comfortable to stand. To install the ruler, I figured out where I wanted it to sit and marked that out with blue painter's tape. I used alcohol to clean the kayak and make sure that the ruler adhered as well as it possibly could. This hard rubber roller made a huge difference in making sure that the foam was adhered really well to the kayak. To install the foam flooring on the main floor of the cockpit of the kayak, I wanted to make a template out of butcher paper. This part of the kayak has a large, unusual, and uneven shape, so I wanted to do this on paper before I started cutting the foam itself. After some trial and error, I ended up with half a template that I could trace out onto the foam, flip over for the mirror image, and ensure both sides were exactly even. I was relieved to discover that this foam was easily cut with a pair of standard scissors. The process for installing the flooring was the same as the ruler, making sure everything was clean and finishing it out with the rubber roller. I had plenty of the foam left over, so I cut out templates for the crate area, the cup holders, and the front area where I store my paddle. This is going to look really nice and help cut down on some noise while I'm fishing. And here is the final product. I'm really pleased with how this foam flooring turned out. The wood look along with the red I think looks really, really nice. So I've taken it out today. I'm gonna rig it up and take it out on the water to test everything out and see what kind of improvements we made. Having the foam go up under the seat where I usually store some of my tackle boxes should cut down on some of the noise. Putting it under the crate should do the same thing as I'm moving things around in there. For this outing, I'm going to install a rod holder in one of the front tracks so that I have a rod close at hand when I'm on the water. The first thing I notice is how much easier this thing is to paddle with this skeg deployed. I'm not having to work as hard as I paddle and that's going to make a big difference if I spend a long day out on the water. The skeg works almost a little too well. If I do need to turn, it does take a lot more effort. But going in a straight line, this thing is rock solid and it does really, really well keeping me pointed where I want to go. This foam flooring is such an improvement over the bare plastic for standing. It's so comfortable and I could stand all day to fish.
the gear track is a great addition for holding rods and for whatever future plans I have for this kayak. And there you have it. I was able to upgrade this used Diablo Amigo kayak to fit my needs when I'm wanting to explore shallower waters. The skeg, the gear tracks, and the foam flooring have significantly improved the usability and comfort of this kayak. They're really great improvements. I'm looking forward to taking this Amigo out on more fishing adventures and sharing those videos with you. I appreciate you following along on this build today. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do subscribe, hit that notification button so you know when I post new videos. I appreciate each and every one of you. Y'all get out there and live the good life. Thanks a lot.